Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Crisis on Infinite Earths. We're going to be going through a range of stuff. We've got a blog post from Canada Graphs. So this is not the final blog post for Crisis, although they finished filming Crisis, which I'll talk about in a sec. Canada Graphs will have some more blog posts out later this week, he has told me. So please be sure to check out his blog. Check out, you know, every few days or so, just in case the new blog comes up, and I'm sure we'll be making a video on it whenever those come out. But anyway, so we're going to be talking about some of Canada Graphs' stuff, some of the Mascara Bound stuff. All the relevant links will be in the description below to the blogs and also to their Twitter accounts. Also, we're going to be talking about the update of, you know, Monel and if he's going to come back or not in Crisis and potentially Supergirl's 100th episode. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so first things first, let's talk about this Monel stuff because I kind of want to get it out and I think that's what a lot of you guys are probably coming to this video for. Okay, so Chris Wood, obviously he left the show at the end of season 3, right? Because Monel went back to the future. We haven't had him back since. We've all been theorizing when is he going to return. It seems like there is a high possibility that he will return because he's with Melissa most of the time because they are married after all and that was a recent thing right so we've all been kind of waiting for some news and we've got no news yet and with Crisis wrapping up unless he's done some secret scenes like indoor scenes because obviously wouldn't we wouldn't know about the indoor stuff and also to do with Win, which we'll talk about in a sec it seems like he's probably not going to pop up in Crisis and Wynn's probably not going to pop up in Crisis although Wynn has been confirmed to return this season however I have my doubts because they said he was going to return last season as well and so talking about Wynn and Monel, I do believe there is a high possibility that they return for the 100th episode Now I've talked about this before but I thought I would just reiterate it if you look at Arrow and The Flash's 100th episode they bring back major characters and Monel and Wynn are two of the biggest ones. If you're going to bring back anyone, it's bringing back them, maybe Maggie, and maybe Cat Grant, I would say. Those are the biggest ones, but definitely Monel and Wynn. So I still think there is a high chance that we will see Monel and Wynn in the 100th episode, but I really, really doubt it that they're going to pop up in Crisis, unless they've done something indoors. But as far as I'm aware, definitely Wynn, you know, he probably is definitely not in the crossover because Jeremy Jordan hasn't been in Vancouver well I haven't been told that he has but obviously Chris has been there you know a majority of the time obviously they sometimes go back and forth between LA and various other places but you know he there is still a slim possibility that maybe he filmed some stuff inside but we don't know about that so yeah I would say look forward to the 100th episode because there is a high chance and a high possibility that that may finally happen. Okay, so before we move on to the crisis stuff, we've got this from Mark Guggenheim. This is talking about Arrow's final season. So they're currently, well, they're not shooting it yet because they only finished Crisis just now, but they are in pre-production essentially for Arrow's final episode, episode 10 of season eight. By the way, Arrow is the best show on right now. I've been absolutely loving it to bits in these two episodes we've had. It's been so crisis heavy. It's been really, really good. And I think it's better than The Flash and Supergirl and Batwoman right now, personally. However, let's talk about this because he posted the final page. So page 44, this is a studio draft, obviously everything can change, you know, once they actually get to filming. But as you can see, it says continued. This is just a normal screenplay format and he's blacked out the final lines, right? But I'm guessing it's going to be some dialogue or it could in fact just be like a description but all that he's left is of possibility so there is some sort of cliffhanger right that gives a possibility of something I'm not sure if it's a character talking about a possibility or if it's the screenplay detailing there's a possibility of something happening there's maybe a possibility of Oliver being alive there's a possibility of Oliver returning I'm not sure what it means but there is some sort of possibility with the series ending that something else is going to happen. So that's a very interesting thing to note down and keep in your mind as we wait and watch these episodes this season. Let's move on to talk about some crisis stuff. 
So from Themyscira Bound on Twitter, we've got some more behind the scenes photos. So we have this photo right here. This is obviously behind the scenes. They're not actually shooting because Grant's got glasses on. He's got sunglasses on. So we got the Flash, Superman, and you know all the crew around. So we got various photos. Moving on to the next one, we've got Batwoman in it as well. We got Superman and Martian Manhunter. David's in his gear. Like you don't really see that much in the behind the scenes photos with David in his gear because you know I a lot of those scenes are indoors when he has the Martian Manhunter CGI over his face. But that's how they do it. They don't actually like put like. I don't know, some dots on his face like they do in films. Anyway, so we got this photo, we got the next photo, which is just a close-up of Tyler. He's next to Ruby. And so yeah, that's the photos from Themyscira Bound. So let's move on to talk about Canada Graphs' stuff for Crisis. And so this is for an unknown episode, but also some were shot for the Legends of Tomorrow episode. And so yeah, let's move on. And this is how it starts in the blog, obviously you can check out the blog, so he's detailed a few of the scenes, so he attempted to try and get some photos, he saw Stephen and Mel, he finally saw this shot he'd been searching for a long time, this is how it goes on the blog, so Stephen and Mel dressed as the Green Arrow doing a scene where he seems to walk towards the middle of the courtyard from the library that was there, the angle wasn't very good, he tried to go to a new angle, and the scene had finished. So it was a very small scene, but Stephen was there, dressed as the Green Arrow, in the middle of a courtyard, just nearby a library, and so a bit later they were doing a different portion of the scene, and he wasn't too sure what it was until the end, but then he saw loads of people running around, and he saw Grant Gus in there as the Flash, zipping in and having a talk with the Green Arrow, and unfortunately Stephen was off screen, so he didn't get that, because he wasn't in full Green Arrow gear right then, so they were just shooting Grant for that bit. And so, all the people around are sort of running around, panicking, so some sort of big scenes happening here. The Flash zips in, he's been called, Green Arrow's here, so it seems like something has caused a big disturbance, but I'm not specifically sure what. Also, there are two Central City cabs parked in the set, that's what he saw, and so they quickly squeezed in a couple of these scenes they weren't very long okay so let's talk about some of these photos so we got various photos of them actually shooting the scene you can see that he is in his coat because he's not on screen he's just talking to him and grant is in the full suit obviously it's raining like hell that's you know you can't help that and so he's doing this scene steven's you know in his coat he's not you know fully doing it but you know he's voice acting essentially Okay, so let's move on to talk about the next part of the blog. So the next part of the blog is to do with Katie Lotz. This is some scenes that were shot in a different place. This was in downtown Vancouver. Apparently it was quite a long way away from where they shot that last scene. So this was a Legends of Tomorrow shoot for their portion of the crossover. It was a massive, huge battle scene. But this scene is going to be in another post. But we did actually get some photos of that scene just the other day I talked about it, that was from Themyscira Band, those photos that you see on the screen right now, so that's going to be in another post from Canada Graph, so maybe he's got some different angles and stuff like that. So there was that big battle scene, but then later in the day, and this is what he's focusing on in this blog, is Katie Lotz is there as Sarah Lance, they're doing a scene where she is walking out of an alley, and she at times seems to be holding her head, and maybe disorientated from something. She walks out into the middle of the street before one car comes to a screeching halt right near her and another does the same before zipping around her and stopping the car. They also had a Star City cab there, so that's obviously setting, you know, the location because that's in Star City, not not in Central City like the other scene that he saw earlier in the day. And so this scene is obviously with Katie Lotz. So what's happening is it seems like the car... I don't know, it's some sort of enemy, some sort of foe, because it comes to a screeching halt, and she gets essentially cornered by these cars. And so the final scene of the day was with Audrey Marie Anderson, you know, Harbinger. So she obviously had that cliffhanger at the end of Arrow last episode, so 
she's going to be a massive thing, Harbinger is a massive thing in Crisis, but he, was, he wasn't he was able to actually get any photos of this because it was way further in the end of the day, and so yeah. That is about it for this video guys, thank you guys so much for watching, if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment, subscribe if you're new, and also turn on notifications to not miss any videos, and I'll catch you guys later, goodbye. I see red.